you know, it, it was really a great experience being able to go out and perform and to just entertain people and make them laugh. It's a great feeling. My favorite part about band is percussion. I think I think it's important to have a strong arts and part arts apartment department. <laughs> I love theater, and I love theater at Westbury Christian. It helps you come out of your shell. Music makes me want to sing. I just like acting. My favorite thing is to paint. My favorite part about the fine arts... We need fine arts rocks! <laughs> We have three dimensions that make up the holistic philosophy at Westbury Christian. We have the spiritual dimension, we have the academic dimension, and we have the student activities dimension. And so fine arts plays a very vital role in the student activities dimension at Westbury Christian School. It allows children that have these talents that are gifted by God to be able to express themselves in a way that only can come out through fine arts. Our athletic program has allowed a lot of people to get to see us through those doors of athletics. And now what's happening through fine arts is people are getting to know us through the fine arts. And now they're being drawn in and they're recognizing there's excellence taking place in our fine arts department right now. What fine arts does, be it art or music or theater or band, it aids to the creative process. It allows kids to think outside the box. The best part about fine arts at Westbury Christian School is that we do it all for the glory of God because God put the arts there for us to find out who we are and to bring glory back to Him. And we don't have to hide that as part of our program of fine arts here. As fine arts director here at Westbury Christian School, my job is to give voice to all of the teachers, a single voice to the arts. By allowing the teachers to do their jobs thoroughly and taking a lot of extra responsibilities off of them, they can then allow the children to do all that they need to do to discover within themselves what it is that drives them to glorify the Lord. I get a great deal of joy out of my music classes. Um, I'm basically a kid at heart, I guess, because I get to play instruments, dance around the room, sing songs, and the kids are, they're just happy when they're in there. I'm happy when they're in there. It's fun, it's instructional, but at the same time, I can see that they are just enjoying the music. And that's one of my goals, is that we not only learn to be able to say we've learned music theory, but that they develop a love for music that will carry them through a lifetime. When I was chosen, for the position for lower school art teacher. It was quite an honor because I am the first person that gets to expose some of these children to art. Sometimes they have not had the opportunities to you know, paint or use scissors or sculpt with clay or paper mache. I particularly am excited when I can introduce art history, um, different artists like Monet or Picasso and being able to take them to the museum and see some of these great works and be able to explain to them that these were once children too, and show them what you know perseverance and determination, and just their God-given abilities can you know where that can take them in the world. There's so many different ways that they can dream, and I'm there to help support those dreams. I teach music because I love music. It's fun. Uh, in and of itself, music stands on its own. I see my responsibility in regard to the growth of the fine arts program at WCS by primarily making the students that I do have in my choir classes and theater classes as prepared as they can be for any presentation they give, whether it be here at the school uh, or especially out in the community. Art is wonderful to look at and music is wonderful to listen to. The magic, the spirit that God put into it is when you, I don't care how good or bad it is, are the one trying to produce it. As kids are developing initially, they don't really get an opportunity to see what's happening and to understand what's taking place. Uh, one of the illustrations that I use regularly is of a baby learning to walk and how their parents keep encouraging them as many times as they fall down. And so when we teach an instrument a brand new skill or whatever, 
they're getting something brand new right at the beginning. And so I encourage them to watch what takes place. There's a lot of failure that takes place and they have to get up and they realize that in life and in everything, every course they have, that it's okay to face failure because it's just a process of working through it to success. And so in, in band, in, te in learning to play an instrument, that's what we really get out of it. We get to see it of age in our life where we can comprehend what's taking place that this is natural. This is the way it's been from the beginning. Fine arts is, is what teaches students to, to have a quality life, not just to function in society, but to enjoy life and have a quality life. It connects them with the creator. When, when kids are, are first learning, and their mind is scary, and it's, it's you know, this big, shiny, pretty instrument, and it looks so easy, and it, it's not that easy. As they progress, they, they start realizing, hey, I can, I can do this, and I can make music, and hey, what if I try this? And so they can express themselves. Um, as they get older then, and more skills develop, then the teachers become less important, and they become the creators of the music. That's when it gets fun, is when they're creating their own music, and they all learn to do that. Theater, unlike any other disciplines, actually combines all the arts disciplines. It combines visual art, band, choir, and acting. So we kind of enhance fine arts by putting together productions that bring those components together and create something that is a full effect for the fine arts in many ways. We try to bring in a lot of students who, um, through classes, who may not otherwise you know, think that band might not be cool for them or choir, but we kind of sneakily get them involved through maybe something like acting, where all of a sudden they find themselves singing and being musical or doing artwork for tech or things like that and combining all those things. I believe fine arts is uh, so important to the student makeup because uh, those students that aren't athletic or exceptional with the books or whatever can find a spot, and even if they are those also, they can find a spot where they can be creative and find an outlet where they can um, just kind of do their own thing and uh, they can be very successful at that. I really love teaching kids that they can do more than what they think. I get a lot of students in that say, oh, I can't do anything but draw a stick figure. And uh, I like to be able to show them techniques and help them see the world through different eyes. That's what I really, really love to teach my students, that it's not just an elective to have a credit to graduate with, it's actually the world we live in. Fine arts are vital vital to a growing, thriving school. And it just adds another layer. It supports our third dimension. We have such strong academics. We have such a strong spiritual life. We have great athletics. Our kids know how to do service. Now let's teach them to express themselves in ways that they never thought they could. I don't think there's ever been a time in our country that we've needed more of what Westbury Christian School provides and, and the three-dimensional philosophy of the school. And I think what fine arts does in complementing that uh, is very, very special and unique. We, it's not new news that we know that the fine arts helps people to think creatively. It helps them to think uh, critically. It helps them to do things in ways that they otherwise couldn't do. And so the fine arts program here is going to complement that in a way that only it can do. I like that you're always challenged and always told to take risks and be yourself, and you also get to choose what you like best. I like the clarinet because it's really cool. The Fine Arts at Westbury Christian helps you experience all kinds of things. Fine Arts at Westbury Christian is awesome. We, we love, love Westbury, Westbury Christian, Christian and we, we love, love Fine arts. arts. Essentially, the most, the best way to express yourself is through Fine Arts. I'm Trey, and I love theater. We're, we are Westbury, Westbury Christian, Christian, and, and we, we want to perform, perform for you. I love improvisation because I get to use my imagination. I love singing. My name is Vincent, and I like graffiti. Word.
In the fine arts, I like theater most. Why do you like theater so much? Because my mom's the director of theater.